Good evening and happy Friday. We welcome you to Missoula County Stadium on the campus of Big Sky High School in Missoula, Montana. A crosstown rivalry on the docket tonight on Spartan Live, Cla Class AA Montana High School football action between the Sentinel Spartans and the Hellgate Knights on senior night for Hellgate. The Spartans lost a 31-28 heartbreaker last week to drop to 4-4 four and four on the season. Lost to Billings West and West kind of got a leg up on them as both teams are kind of on the edge of the playoff picture. Hellgate, on the other hand, um, forfeited last week's game to Helena, so both of these teams come in with a little extra rest and 0-8 this season, but Hellgate has also has not won a game since 2012, 30 straight losses uh, since that season. And Sentinel looking to punctuate a Missoula City Championship tonight. I'm Kevin Cross, along with my partner Cole Johnson. What do the Spartans have to do to accomplish that goal tonight? Well, the, the solution to it is simple. They just need to run the football. And if they do that, run the football, pass the football, they can pretty much do whatever they want, uh, I think, for this game. Um, they got to just get back to the basics. You know, they have to put the loss behind them. Um, the game's over against Billings West. Um, a difficult pill to swallow in that game. Obviously, a tough loss for the team. But they have to win this game tonight, and I think that they're going to. And that opening kickoff is short and taken from about the 30-yard line by number 12, Ethan Jones. So off prime starting position from the 40, from their own 44 for Sentinel on the night, Mitch Roberts trots out as a starting quarterback and going with a heavy eye formation to start the game. Masula won the toss, elected to receive, have now received the opening kickoff, and now it's first down and 10 from the 44. Handoff, and it's Josh Deschner who has had six touchdowns spread out over the three, the game's three phases in the last two weeks and some up-tempo here from Sentinel. Um, but you have to just focus on the task at hand and I'm sure they're just gonna be just fine tonight. First play in Hellgate territory is a bootleg and Mitch Roberts turns it upfield for first down yardage and more. From the 48 yard line to the 35 yard line is a 13 yard pickup and more than enough for a Sentinel first down. You see that play a lot, a lot of play action fake uh, using the legs of Mitch Roberts. That's what he's gonna do best. That's what he's been doing all season long. He did it last week some. He's done it in games past where if there's a hole that's open, um, he will take off and he won't waste any time uh, running the football. There's a flag on the play. Yeah, that's the first stoppage to the tempo that Sentinel has looked to establish here early on. The designated road team for on senior night for the Hellgate Knights. Yeah, Masula Sentinel has been called on consecutive line, well, lineups at least now, for five-yard offside penalties. And so it'll now be first down and 20 from the I formation. Roberts with his first pass, throwing down the sideline for Mitch Reynolds in double coverage, comes down with it. At the 12 yard line, a 28 yard pass play. That is a terrific catch. And that is the Mitch Reynolds that we are accustomed to seeing. Uh, a terrific play in double coverage, he comes down with it. Uh, great catch by Mitch Reynolds along the right sideline, and excuse me, along the left sideline, and a great throw by Mitch Roberts on first down. And they go back into the I formation. Bridger Califat is the fullback, and Josh Deschner gets it inside the 10-yard line down to about the 6-yard line. So it'll be about a 5- or 6-yard pickup, and it'll be second down, not goal. They can still pick up the first without scoring. And now... Man in motion, Roberts turns around, hands off to Deschner, and they are just going straight at this Knights defense. Down near the goal line is Deschner. It'll be enough for a first down, but not quite a touchdown, as it'll be first down and goal from just about as close as you can be to pay dirt. Deschner, a uh, big uh, focus on this offense and on defense mainly. Uh, he scored uh, a defensive touchdown last week. He had two pick sixes the week before that, and uh, Deschner is just, uh, just a, a, a very... Um, you know, big time player for this team. And how about that catch by Mitch Reynolds? A couple plays earlier. Um, maybe kind of putting the frustration behind him. Definitely had a tough game last week against Billings West. And uh, that was a nice catch in double coverage. Another flag comes down, it's offsides. It won't make much of a difference because Deschner now takes the handoff and is stood up, but will get in standing up after shedding a few Hellgate tacklers. And 
couldn't move much closer with the penalty, and Deschner is able to punch it in. Yeah, it only took five plays to get down there. A uh, good idea to throw the football early on. Um, the Sentinel is going to have um, some opportunities to really just put up the yardage and to put up the points in this game. Um, Gabe Peppinger, this is his last game kicking on this field as the team will be on the road against the Flathead Braves next week. And Peppinger is game. true. So with 9.44 to go in this first quarter, it is now 7 to nothing in favor of the Sentinel Spartans. Uh, you just look for efficiency and you go to your best man. You go to Connor Shank. Connor Shank at quarterback comes out in the I formation. Ball on the ground. And Already Sentinel started. fell on it. And that will be the first turnover of tonight's contest. Mitch Reynolds is Johnny on the spot. As just offset to the right is Connor Crawford. And he will be running downhill to start this drive and pick up about eight. Number 28. <laughs> Picks up eight, and it'll be second down and about two. Sentinel already with a 7 nothing advantage. Mitch Roberts comes out in the shotgun again. Crawford off to his left. In motion comes Ramos and, or Cunningham, and Crawford is running toward the goal line. Ball, the ball might have come out at the end, and Hellgate fell on it. Connor Schenk. So now from about the four-yard line, in the shadow of their own goalpost, the Hellgate Knights come out on offense, and they also come out in the shotgun formation on their second drive of the evening. And a fake handoff quarterback keeper, Connor Sheck, who is a good athlete, will get plenty of yardage out all the way to the 25-yard line. That's a good play call right there. If you're going to want to try to keep the defense off balance, you're going to have to run misdirection. And it's a great idea on a first down play to fake a handoff and go up the middle and uh, pick up the first down. I think finishing games has been kind of the kind of the struggle. You know, you saw it last year in the beginning of the season, and you saw it last week. Shank back to pass, and that ferocious Spartans pass rush will get a sack. Down in a heap. A host of Spartans were there. Number 67, Michael England, is the senior that came out of that pile and seemed to be the first one to get a paw on Shank. And Connor Shank will be the punter. We've seen this before. We've seen uh, Michael Banna try and do all three. <laughs> Connor Shank. And they're going to fake it. Look oh, at that. It's a Look fake. At that. And Shank, as we talked about, is a pretty good athlete, but he didn't have enough blocking to get anywhere near the sticks. And so it. at the 30 yard line is where Hell, or not Hellgate, Hellgate turns it over to the Sentinel Spartans. Yeah, I mean. And it's another handoff to Deschner, and Deschner will fight his way across machine. into another touchdown <laughs> sentinel. And that'll put him up 13-0 in the early going, pending an extra point. 13-0 Missoula Sentinel, Deschner, a couple touchdowns within the first quarter. Had a touchdown last week, had two more touchdowns on defense. Guy is really just doing it all right now on both sides of the football, and uh, Sentinel is uh, cruising at this point. Gabe Peppinger rarely misses an extra point. And he is going to take this one out of the hold of Mitch Reynolds. And what a kick. That one is good. So with 4.39 to go now in the first quarter of play, it is the Sentinel Spartans 14 and the Hellgate Knights nothing. Second down and long. And Schenk will be under center at about the five-yard line, throws it out. This time it's successful to get his man the ball on the perimeter and running through Matt Messerly, who was able to finally make the tackle, is Landon Eubles. And just take your time and just have fun. Schenk will go back to pass and throw it over wow, the head of that. Mitch Reynolds, who was kind of got lost in coverage over there as the ball hung up there for a while as Bob Shank was able to come down with it. So Shank to Shank gets Hellgate another play and they are have moved into Sentinel territory for the first time tonight. 14-0 lead, Dana Oliver trying to stay warm on the sideline, popping around down there. Connor Shank, deep drop, stepping up, throwing, looking for Yubbles and that is a great throw and catch. Yubbles was pretty open between the coverage of Matt Messerly and Alex Steele and the deepest penetration of Hellgate into enemy territory tonight is how we will close the first quarter. It is 
Sentinel Spartans 14, Hellgate Knights nothing, but Hellgate with their biggest threat of the game so far tonight at the 28-yard line of Sentinel. We'll be back with the second quarter. This is Spartan Live. Penalty is one of the few things getting in the way of the Sentinel Spartans. A uh, false start there, their third false start of the evening so far. We'll back them up. It'll be instead of third and short, now it'll be third and six. Kickoff tonight was 45 degrees. 45 and degrees, yeah. It's The autumn chill has set in. Yeah. certainly doesn't uh, compare to winter necessarily, especially in the dead of winter. And a throw now to the post pattern of Alex Steele. Mitch Roberts was able to make that throw, and Alex Steele is still loose. He's running down to the 20-yard line, across the 15. Contact. Three different Masula Hellgate players brought him down, but not before he gets all the way down to about the 13-yard line of Hellgate. And he ran that play and was even more open than that in the Billings West game, and Roberts able to hit him this time. And Alex Steele, they go back to the hot hand. He's looking for the pylon, and he's going to score. He's touchdown, Spartans. Why would you not let him finish it off? 12 yards out for the touchdown. Alex Steele gets in, scored a touchdown last week against Billings West, and adds another in this game, it's 20 to nothing. Yeah, he scored, he scored a touchdown in each of the last three games, actually. And at that pylon on this very field was where he scored his last rushing touchdown. Does it again. And Mitch Reynolds will be holding. He has a, a good catch along the sideline in double coverage on the first drive. And catches the snap, puts it down for the senior kicker, Gabe Peppinger. And that makes it with 8.07 to go in this first quarter, or no, in the second quarter, excuse me. It's now 21 to nothing, Sentinel over Hellgate. This is so getting to play some quarterback, Connor Shank, today. Third down and long, Josh Deschner comes unblocked, but Shank is able to sidestep him. You yubbles on the sideline. Got the feet in. Makes Perfect the job. catch at the 32 yard line. Tyler Putty was over there on the coverage, but it was quite a beautiful throw from Shank as he was able to avoid the pressure and then make the throw. And the tightrope act by Yubbles has Hellgate in some pretty good field position now. Yeah, he has. And now Shank has a third down and long to deal with. And this one almost goes over his head. He's able to Willie Mays catch it and throw it down, looking for Yubbles. And Mitch Reynolds drops the interception. And there's another flag down. This time it's in the defensive backfield. This could go in favor of Hellgate. You know, and, um, a tough loss. You don't want to dwell on the past. Roberts I'm still throwing. <laughs> Caden Messer makes the catch and is fighting for extra yardage. And he gets a touchdown, Spartans. Nice play. Wow, Caden Messmer. Nice catch and run there. A bulldozer catches it at the 10-yard line, runs through a defender and gets to the pylon. Make it 27 to nothing. Caden Messer on a wheel route was wide open, and Roberts was able to put it on the numbers. And Messer rumbles into the end zone for 27 to nothing. Number 17, Gabe Peppinger, will march, march himself off, and then Mitch Reynolds will, who had a key catch on that drive, will do the holding. Both of them seniors and both of them still have not failed at that part of the game. Tonight, true again with the fourth extra point converted after the fourth touchdown of the night for Sentinel with 2.20 to go before halftime. It is now Sentinel 28, Hellgate Knights nothing. He made the catch in bounds, so the rest of the clock will run off. And the Sentinel Spartans will take a 28 to nothing lead over the Hellgate Knights into halftime. A chilly Masula County Public Schools stadium on the campus of Big Sky High School is the site for Spartan Live's coverage of the Sentinel Spartans and the Hellgate Knights tonight on senior night for Hellgate. It has been all Spartans, 28 nothing in the first half. Yeah, and this was expected. You know, I think it was just one of those things where Hellgate it's just not, they don't have, um, you know, the squad to be able to move the ball with consistency, um, especially on, on the physical side of things. Um, the defensive line is coming through quickly on, you know, Hellgate's offensive side, you know, just going right through the line, getting Connor Shank tackles for loss. Um, Connor Shank, 
Uh, he's doing pretty good playing QB. He's got 140 yards passing. He's had a couple big plays in the passing game, but then the drive stalls and they lose yards. And so it's it's been a tough, tough road for Hellgate. And Missoula Sentinel has a four touchdown lead. I see much more of the same in the second half. Gabe Peppinger's kickoff is into the end zone over the head of Landon Yubbles. You see the separation of who are you are who you are. Being oh. able to win games tight late in the game. Shank has been under heavy pressure. And Hellgate. Hellgate is thinking Confusion on the field and in the booth, they're saying run it for a touchdown. They think that the game. The, the punt, they're saying, at least here in the booth, for, well, at the other end of the booth, we can hear them down the, the, Hellgate, down the hall. Hellgate's argument is that the, <laughs> the punt was deflected by one of the Sentinel defenders who was in the backfield, and at the midfield stripe, Hellgate should scoop it up and score. But that is not the ruling, as at the 50-yard line, going north... I gotta be honest, I didn't even see the. the Here's Crawford. And Crawford is fighting for yardage. His biggest run of the night is for half the yardage that Sentinel needs to add to their lead. It's a game of 25 for Crawford. So Crawford churning up yardage. Yeah, and so Roberts hands off. No. And he'll keep it, and he will yeah. squirt through for a touchdown, Spartans. Mitch Roberts up the middle, just sees the hole, runs through, touchdown. And here come the Spartans in command, going for a five-touchdown lead here as Missoula Hellgate is trying to do their best to keep up in this game, but it's not looking too good for them. That's Roberts' first rushing touchdown of the night. He's had a passing touchdown to Caden Messer. And now flags down. See who jumped. False start, so Peppinger will get a short field goal opportunity from five yards back. It'll be more like a 25 yard field goal now for the extra point, it'll only be worth one. And number one holding it, Mitch, Mitch Reynolds. Reynolds. And the kick is up and good again. So with 9.17 to go in the third quarter of this Crosstown rivalry matchup, it's the Sentinel Spartans 35, Hellgate Knights nothing. This is for Mitch Roberts. And Connor Crawford to his left. And he will hand off to Crawford. And Crawford will get through the hole and sidestep a good block on the perimeter and stay in bounds before finally being forced out. It's a gain of 17. It's up over 70 yards rushing on the day. Deschner had 45 yards and a couple touchdowns in the first half. Steal a couple catches for 70 yards. He scored on a rushing touchdown. Mitch Reynolds, two catches for 47 yards, and Haslam had a catch for 17. And Roberts touchdown. now will bootleg out to the left and look deep down the field, looking for Alex Steele. That and it's another successful connection and another touchdown Sentinel. That is the kind of throw that we're talking about, folks. Something that's down alongside the boundary, leads the receiver perfectly. Great throw by Mitch Roberts to Alex Steele. Man, those are the kinds of throws that we're talking about right there. Just perfect throw, um, leads the receiver perfectly. Alex Steele, no one in front of him, touchdown. Second time he scored today. We've seen Sentinel try to get the ball moving laterally, whether it was through the air or just a direct handoff on kind of a jet sweep type play to Alex Steele. They like to get the ball to Alex Steele. They like to get it to him on the in the perimeter. They feel like he can make some plays in the open field. We saw it there. He got behind the defense with his speed. And now Gabe Peppinger is still perfect on the night and makes this Sentinel lead 42 to nothing over the Hellgate Knights with 531 to go in the third quarter. In that sense, if Billings and Senior and Bozeman were to meet up in the championship game, the game's going to be played in Bozeman, so a huge win there. 
And back to throw, intercepted. Tyler Putty is going up the near sideline at the 20. 15, 10, cuts inside with a block. Touchdown, Spartans. A flag down at the 26 yard line. So the return may come back, but the interception should stand. Putty just got a great break on that ball that was intended for Casey Martin. Yeah, the ball was just in the air for way too long and Putty able to just kind of play center field on that one. Haul it in, take it down the sideline, but I think there's going to be holding on the return possibly, which might negate the touchdown. Actually, no, the penalty is on Hellgate, so I think, I think it's going to actually count here. But after the score, things are kind of getting out of hand here as it's uh, 49 to nothing, pending the extra point. And it looks like that penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. So instead of kicking off from the 40, their own 40, they'll kick off from the 45-yard line of Hellgate. But right now, to try to make it a 49 to nothing lead, Gabe Pepinger is setting up for his seventh extra point of the night, and that is good. We see Brandon Morley warming up on the sidelines. It looks like Mitch Roberts is going to get the rest of the night off, and he should get the rest of the night off. It's a seven-touchdown lead. On senior night for the Hellgate Knights, it has once again been all Sentinel Spartans. 49 to nothing with 2.41 to go in this third quarter. 49 nothing. You don't want to risk injury to some of your starting players. So Mitch Roberts is going to come out of this game, and Morley's going to get some time with the quarterback keeper around the right side. Morley bouncing it outside, bounces it inside, and then fumbles at the end. And Hellgate saying they have it. And they do. That'll be the last play of the third quarter. Missoula Sentinel on their way to a victory. They'll go to five and four on the season when this one is over. When it's over, but only the third quarter is over right now. Sentinel Spartans 49, Hellgate Knights nothing. They just got into Sentinel territory. We'll see if they can punch it in and spoil the shutout. Third down from the 49, third down and long. Botsford all oh, finally able to corral that Strange snap, and now rolling away from pressure, but the pressure's going to get him. And that is number 74 for Sentinel, the big man. That was Kenyon uh, Kinsella. Kenyon Kinsella. Some young Spartans players getting some work uh -huh. in. Seeing some of the youth on this team. And this Shank team. takes a look at faking it again. And so a delayed punt, but he outkicks the coverage, and Caden Messer is coming like a Got train. A He's going down the... Far sideline and sidestepping a couple defenders after outrunning a couple. And right at the midfield stripe, maybe a little, maybe a touch into Hellgate territory. A great return there by Messer. And it'll be first down for Brandon Morley and Sentinel. Morley had the fumble on the first play, on his first play from scrimmage tonight. Uh, it was a good play. He was able to bounce a run outside, a quarterback keeper that was out across force, first down yardage. And now from the 49, we'll see if he's able to keep a hold of the ball. Yeah, he lost the ball in the last possession, the um, his first possession that he had. And I think ball security is obviously an issue for everybody. You know, just protect the football when you're getting hit. Yeah, and it's tough as it gets colder as well. And Morley this time takes the ball and... Holds on to it, gets a, almost a first down. Um, you know, hasn't had a chance really to throw the football, but looks like he's going to try one here. And now he'll throw it over. Dylan Goforth with a convoy of blockers and gets out of bounds inside the 15. Threatening the Hellgate Knights, threatening to put even more points on the board. 8.50 to go in this fourth quarter and this game, 49 points so far throwing out over to the far side Blake Linstead fighting through tackles stood up and brought down inside the five yard line might be enough for a Sentinel Spartans first down so they'll have four of them to work with to try to punch this one in and Morley's getting a chance to show off his stuff so that's cool handoff first carry that we've seen of the season by Tyler Kendall Tyler goes Kendall. in for a touchdown there you go with 808 to go in this game, the youth movement has gotten on the board for the yeah, Sentinel Spartans. Yeah, that's official. You know, you're, you're letting the young guys get some touches, and I'm sure it's very encouraging for them to get some points on the board, a lot of high fives and slaps in the helmet. 
getting in the end zone is a fun thing. Being able to score a touchdown and some of the young kids being able to get that opportunity to do that. And Peppinger, hey, he's still in the game, but he's your guy for kicking. Exactly. So. Eight extra point attempts, eight extra points successful on the night. Eight touchdowns on the board. 8.08 to go in the fourth quarter. 56 to nothing in favor of the Sentinel Spartans over the Hellgate Knights. This and I said turf. It's not turf yet. Next no, year, by next year it this. will be. Yeah, next year. Because they're going to get artificial turf on this field. They Fake punt. The punt. They're going to pick up the first down. Connor Schenk to Bob Schenk. And another big play for Hellgate, even though those have been few and far between. We've seen the Schenk brothers hook up for him a couple times on the night. Bob Schenk remaining down, maybe shaken up on the play, but makes a big play for a first down Hellgate. Sentinel finishing out the year at Flathead. Um, Russell, looks like, yeah, they're going to drop their game, so we would say that Sentinel is in the eighth spot as of right now. But Sentinel, or not Sentinel, sorry, CMR, as this handoff is to Zach Martin on a fullback dive, and he's going to do a lot more than dive. He's rumbling down the sideline for a Hellgate touchdown, Hellgate's possibly. Gonna get it. They're going to get touchdown it. Touchdown, Knights. A, a, a nice touchdown run there by Zach Martin. Botsford with a smooth drop back throwing, and Brandon Yubbles is able to bring that one in. With the Landon Yubbles. Conversion. Yeah. Landon, we've been calling Landon or Yandon? I just called him Brandon, so I had to. Yeah correct myself, but Yubbles with a good play there, kind of a back shoulder throw. Yeah, nice play on the, uh, the boundary there, just kind of came back to the football, boxed out his guy, and he just threw it up there, and nice play by Yubbles. 56 to eight. Hellgate wanting to run the two minute drill, and Botsford looking deep, and it is caught over the outstretched arms of Jace Denman. And what a catch. Yeah, that was Landon Yubbles. And he has made several of those big-time catches tonight. Yeah, Yubbles has been their guy. I mean, when they've been in the jam, they've gone to Yubbles. I mean, he's been making the plays. Final score tonight, Missoula Sentinel, Spartans 56, Missoula Hellgate Knights 8. And that's the final. The Missoula City Championship is back in, uh, in the grasp of Sentinel. Final score tonight on Spartan Live. The Missoula Sentinel Spartans 56, the Missoula Hellgate Knights 8, a city championship well in the hands of the Sentinel Spartans after a convincing victory here tonight, after having to pull one out against Big Sky earlier this year on this same field. Uh, so yeah, Cole, it was, it was a very convincing win and it should help Missoula Sentinel build momentum as they try to go on the road and maybe get a victory next week to to um, keep the momentum going going into the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, they, it's possible. You know, I think uh, with this momentum that they have now, um, a game that they should have won tonight, uh, they definitely dominated. Uh, defense played terrific. Uh, they got touchdowns from Deschner, Steele. Each of them got two touchdowns apiece. Messer, Kendall, and Putty. Kendall was a backup that came in late in the fourth quarter. Putty scored as well. Uh, Mitch Roberts got one as well, uh, running the football. And, uh, you know, Missoula Sentinel responding well after a tough loss the week before against Billings West in a game where it came down to the wire. Um, if they win next week against Flathead, they're going to make the playoffs. So, um, and if CMR, they lost uh, earlier tonight, if they lose next week and then Sentinel, it would automatically propel them into the eight spot. Um, you know, you got to give credit to Dane Oliver. He's done a great job with this team. I mean, it's been, it's been tough at times, I mean, closing out games. You know, games have been tight. Um, but quite honestly, he's done a phenomenal job. He's kept the kids motivated. He's kept them playing well. They've got some good athletes. I think they have a shot. Yeah, looking around a little bit at Class AA, especially with the games that affect Missoula Sentinel, Flathead lost tonight to Glacier, 41-26. And so now Flathead at 5-4 and four, and Missoula Sentinel at 5-4. and four. That puts Sentinel in a position to where they, if they do win, they are in. But... Uh, CMR, on the other hand, lost to Bozeman on the road, a tough road game tonight, 56-21, especially without their best player and one of the best players in Montana, running back Andrew Grind. And CMR goes to Great Falls next week, and Great Falls gave Billings West a real game tonight. 41-30 was the final of that one. And so we'll, we'll see. Uh, a loss by CMR or a win outright like you addressed at Flathead next week gets Sentinel in. 
But even if they don't win, if a couple other things fall in place, they'll be able to to squeeze into the playoffs. And then once you're in the big dance, anything can happen. Yeah, and I think that's what they're looking forward to is just trying to make steps to become a better team, to become an elite team. You know, and getting into the playoffs is one of those opportunities where you can look back and go, okay, here's what we did well. We were able to make, uh, we were able to win enough games to get into the playoffs. We we're able to build on some momentum. Bozeman and Billings Senior are the class of this AA football uh, conference. Uh, they're the top two teams. Um, I would definitely end up seeing them there at the end. <laughs> you know, they play well on defense. You kind of are who you are um, in high school football. Uh, Missoula Sentinel, though, um, they're definitely building on some things. They're playing well on offense. Uh, they're making plays on defense. They've made some plays on defense all year long. I think it's just uh, being able to carry it over week to week and continue to build on some of those things. Um, they'll get, it'll, you know, they'll have a chance against Flathead, um, and you never know. I mean, sometimes things just happen. Crazy things can happen when you make the playoffs. You know, you, who knows what can happen? Um, we look at Capital. You know, they're in the three spot right now. They gave Bozeman a tough game. Um, actually, beat Bozeman, um, and then Bozeman beat Billing Senior. So um, there is some parity there. Um, hopefully, you know, Sentinel can make a run at this thing and, and get into the postseason and just make steps forward to becoming a better team down the road. I want to give special thanks once again to the entire Spartan Life crew and everyone that had a hand in giving us this blessing of a job to live our dream and go out and gain some experience calling games on the gridiron. Final score tonight, Missoula Sentinel Spartans 56, Missoula Hellgate Knights 8. And this has been Spartan Live. This is the regular season football finale for us. And we hope you have a good night. Yeah, thanks so much.